one thing we did not hear anything about from the opposition was morality. Nature. Or the proposition. They had the opposition. They had so much to say. They had eight minutes to list two of them. But nothing about them tackled morality, which was our entire case. They had no clash with us. And because they weren't able to come onto our grounds to debate morality, they also had no rebuttal. So let's clarify our policy once again to Team Millionaire, right? Our policy made up was to take money from the rich and give it to the government who gives it to the poor people. It's just as simple as that, right? And we think that the poorer people, like people in slums, will get more money. And comparatively, the uh, people who are less poor, like servants in your household, will get comparatively less money. We are not saying that the government cannot allocate resources. We are just saying that the government doesn't have enough On that point, man. to do this, right? So we think that the government should be given all of these resources and they will be better able to allocate. Yes. What exactly is the difference between your policy and taxation? Because okay. taxation is I giving the money to the government and then the government allocating it okay. towards the poor. So I was going to come on to that in my second point of that, but I clarify that right now also, right? Because I think that wasn't there in my first speeches. We think that taxation, when a rich person gives money to the government, is the rich person saying, I'm giving you this money so you can fix roads for me, so you can build infrastructure for me, all of which will be benefiting my business. My life. It is a selfish way to say that you are doing something in favor of our lives. On the other hand, ladies and gentlemen, we think our policy is accepting the fact that you have a purpose other than, your, uh, than fulfilling your own needs, right? That you have to owe something to the poor people because they are a part of the society that you are living in, that you have a moral code with, right? And we talked about this moral code. We made a really good analogy and everything, right? And and I spent a lot of time making that analysis. So please, maybe try to accept that we bring up good points, right? So we have two points of clashes for you today. One, who has the moral side in this debate and who has the better way to alleviate poverty? And we think in both of those cases, we are the side, right? So who has a moral world? We think that in their world, morality is only a luxury that the rich can afford and not the poor. And that we think is a classist approach, right?
that uh, whether you're okay with living off of so much when you can survive off of basic needs. So our second point of clash, our policy versus progressive taxation, right? And we think that, again, I'll bring this up again, the taxation is to do with the government directly benefiting you versus our policy which acknowledges that there is a problem in status quo. On that point, ma'am? Yes. Do only rich people use roads? No, Do, sir. Okay, uh, I'm not actually sorry. That wasn't my question. My question was, who works to build these roads that the rich people then use to drive okay. their BMWs? Fine. And we think that the government should be the one who is 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 the